You mean the signal when it's on, or is it on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We are going to start on page five. Shiru Adonai Shir Prada, Shiru Adonai Kova Haaretz, Shiru Adonai Baruch Hushemo Hasru Miyom Leom Yeshuato Sapru Vagoim, Kevoda Bechoramim, Nithotav, Kigado Adonai, Umhu Adonai, Yahweh, Midbar, 
to continue on page 49 with the Mahaya Tefila, and then we'll do a full repetition of Yamida on Friday nights. Vayakulu Hashamayim Baharetz Bechol Tzivam Vayachal Elohim Vayom Hashviim Malach Tawar Sherasa Vayishbok Vayom Hashviim Mikom Malach Tawar Sherasa Vayavarev Elohim Et Yom Hashvi Vayakadesh Oto Ivo Shabbat Mikom Malach Tawar Sherbarav Elohim Mahaso So the rabbi does not give a sermon on Friday night, and neither will I. However, I will briefly say a few words about the parsha this week, which is Fukat. And in Fukat, we have this very strange uh, ceremony uh, of the red heifer, which is has to be burned completely, and then the ashes sprinkled on people to purify them if they are exposed to a dead person. Uh, very mysterious and uh, not followed today, and uh, lots of different interpretations about what that was all about. Uh, we also have the death of Miriam. We also have the Israelites once again complaining uh, as they're prone to do and then being attacked by serpents and then being saved by Moshe with a serpent on his stick uh, so that they will no longer be killed by that and then finally Aaron dying uh, in the latter part of the parsha. So a lot of stuff going on and I wanted to just mention something uh, kind of about the red heifer related to that a little bit. So 
there are really three kinds of mitzvot that are in the Torah. The, the first are called Eidot, which are like testimonies to um, that help us remember holidays or Shabbat or that type of thing. So, and, you know, the major holidays are all mentioned, what you're supposed to do on there. That's one series. The next are called Mishpatim, uh, which are really logical commandments that are understandable, that are more ethically related usually, things that we might do even without the Torah, not kill someone, not steal, uh, you know, things that, that logically make sense to us. And then the last are a little more difficult. Those are what they call Fukim. And Fukim are really uh, things that we don't understand. Uh, but we're supposed to do them anyway. They're just decrees. Uh, we believe that Hashem wrote these down and we may not understand why, but we're supposed to do them. And this parsha, Fukat, comes from Fukim. It's, that's what it means. It's, this is a, a statute that we're supposed to follow. So in thinking about that, um, I'm going to relate a personal experience of mine. So when my parents passed away, or both passed away now, I went to Shiva at my home, which is back in St. Louis. And then um, I started going to Minyan just to say Kaddish. And I had not, I was bar mitzvah, you know, I'm 62 now, however many years ago, 50 years, well, this was a few years ago. It was 40 years ago. I probably hadn't put tefillin on since my bar mitzvah. And I started going to Minyan and start with tefillin on, which is a mitzvah in the Torah. And I used to think about it as like, it was kind of this strange thing, you know, and I didn't really understand even though there, if I would have studied more, I would have understood why you're supposed to do it, but never cared to, and just thought it was sort of odd, like, what are these people doing? Once I started doing it, I found a tremendous amount of meaning in doing it uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, one, personally, it made me think about my parents some, because that's really when I started doing it. It made me think about just kind of getting set for the day, and now, when I go to Minion, if for some reason I don't have to fill in a uh, forgotten or whatever, it feels strange to me. So I think the, the message for me in this, and not that I'm saying we need to find a red heifer and burn it, but that some of the mitzvot that are in here, sometimes you just have to try something and you find the meaning later. And you might not always understand it at the beginning, but if you try it and you practice it, it might become meaningful for you. So. That's it. Oh, and my wife reminded me I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, so I will do that now. I know most of you, some of you, and some of you I don't. I'm Marshall Langfeld. The rabbi is gone for three weeks. He is on a cross-country tour to visit his kids and his wife's family and go to a bunch of concerts and have some fun. So uh, in the meantime, we have congregants filling in, and I am one of them. And thank you all for coming. I'm glad we had a menu tonight. Nice to see you. Yeah, and we'll continue with Kiddush on page 55. Please rise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam borei peri ha'gafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher kinsham b'mitzvotah v'ratzavanu Yisham ha'kotchav yahavav ratzam yithilanu Zikaran the Mahase Bereshi, Ibu Yom Tevila the Mikrae Kodesh, Zecher the Tziat Mitzvayim, Ivanu Acharta, Viatanu Kidashta, Mikol Hamim, Veshava Kotchacha, Viahava Uratzon in Kaltanu. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh ha-shabhat. Chayim. And we have some kids here, but uh, if you don't, you can certainly bless each other. We're going to say a uh, blessing for the children on page 56. For boys, you sing Falahim Kephraim Bikim Anasha. For girls, you sing Falahim Kesar Rivka Rafa Balea. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God lift the divine face toward you and grant you peace. Amen. Alenu on page 57.
Okay, announcements we have. Services tomorrow, 9.30, right here in the sanctuary. Uh, we have morning minion on Mondays and Thursdays at 8 o'clock. It's in the chapel uh, with a sumptuous breakfast afterwards in the courtyard. Uh, we have weekly text study at uh, 9 a.m., and that is now here. Uh, we have been moving around, but it's going to be here in, at least until the rabbi gets back. Uh, let's see. That's about it for this week, unless somebody knows of something exciting to announce. 
No takers. Okay. Thank you again for coming. We're going to uh, conclude on 63 with you, y'all. You doll of Elohim, Kai, the Yish Tavaf, Nim Sav Yen Et, Tel Matziuto, Ephod Ben Yafi, the Yehudo, Nelam Begam Ben Sof, Le Abduto, En Lot Mutaguf, the Eno Guf, La Nam Rochela, Kedushato, Kadon La Faldam Bar, Asher Nira. Rishon bien reshi le reshi to he no I don't know long le vol no tsar yo regulato malfuto shefan abu ato netano elan she sekulato beti farto lo kam be Israel le Moshe od no be ma be et tumunato to rotten et notan le Ayadaviyo <laughs> Ishlach the Kate Yamin Mashikenu, Lift on the Kake Kaeit Yeshuato, Mate Yahaya El Berov Hasto, Baro Hadea Chain to Hilato, Mate Yahaya El Berov Hasto, Baro Hadea Chain to Hilato. Shabbat Shalom.